Hey, hello again YouTubers. Rack718 here again. I uh, thought I'd, I guess, do another video. Um, you know, got some family and friends downstairs, so I thought I'd jump upstairs real quick, shoot this quick video before the year turns out. And, um, actually, um, quick alibi on this. Actually, um, um, I, I still want all these comics, but another thing on my, on my want list for 2017 is a pre-code horror. Um, definitely want to add that, you know, a golden age, uh, or, or pre-code horror comic to my collection, raw or graded. I know those are hard to come by as far as good condition, but, um, definitely, you know, they're looking to add that. And also real quick, um, I know in my last video, I, I named some names out. Um, a couple more people subbed to me, Jason Smith, thank you, Joe Hulk, Draxier Comics and Things, Bat Avenger, thank you very much for uh, subbing me today. And um, just a quick update, I know I said that, you know, there were 30 subs, um, but I don't, only named off like 23, 24 people, so I guess there was like 6 or 7 that, um, I guess I noticed when I was uploading my video that were private, so, uh, uh, not sure what that's about or you know what that means exactly, but um, thank you <laughs> to those private people out there for subbing to me Those five or six seven people. Thank you for subbing to me before I even made a video So my intent in this video actually before the year turns out is to quickly um, You know show you my top 25 um, Top 25 in my collection top 25 comics um, no particular order or maybe a, not any monetary order. Maybe I should say that not, you know, based on value or anything, but just, you know, kind of what I, you know, what I like, what I believe in and, and, you know, kind of what I, what I want to show you guys, you know, as far as my top 25. Um, now these weren't all made this year. I think some videos I saw were like 2016 purchases, but I don't think I made 25 purchases this year. I don't think so. Some of these I've already had. Maybe a couple I did purchase this year. Maybe a couple were graded this year, if that means anything. But I know this was a video that was popular maybe last year, two years ago. You know, top 25, you know, show off your comics. So I want to do something like that and, you know, get in the mix and, you know, maybe 2017 start a new year. So anyway, uh, Wolverine Origins number 10, uh, Marvel Comics 9.8, uh, Retailer Incentive. Um, Omega Red Jubilee Appearance Three Claw Variant. Um, very very hard comic for me to get back in the day. Um, somehow some way, you know, happy to add that to my collection. Um, next one is uh, Civil War number three. Classic uh, Turner cover. Um, the sketch cover, the, the, the sketch variant cover, 9.8 CGC. Love this comic. I have the whole series. I think uh, Sink and Nermit comic is going to be mad at me. But I have the whole, uh, I think it's 1 through 7, 1 through 8, uh, the whole series uh, sketch. Um, and then I have the color variant of this as well. But I have the sketch. But I like this cover, man. This is, this is just awesome. You know, classic, you know, Spider-Man claw suit. Love it. I'm um, sticking with the Spider-Man theme. Um, I love my Amazing Spider-Man 300. Love the uh, first and origin uh, appearance of Venom. Had to have this in my collection. Again, this is the second copy I had. The first one was the with the was with the full run with the set I had. Uh, so I had to get this with um, some of the proceeds that that came from that sale. But anyway, I love love the 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 condition, the slab. Um, you know, love this book. NYX number three, white pages, first appearance of X23, 9.8 CGC. Love this book. Um, bought this raw um, back in the day. Uh, must have been like 50 bucks. I had to look it up online because I saved those, you know, PayPal and eBay receipts or whatever. I saved those and put them in a special folder and I looked this up. And it was 50, 60 bucks and um, had in my closet, what, 2004, so, wow, almost 10 plus years had in my closet raw and this was graded this year 
when I went to the Baltimore Comic Con, I turned a bunch of comics in and um, and um, decided to get it graded and, and, and got lucky with this, 9.8. Oops. Now this comic I like very much and I didn't understand the concept when it first came out but now I do I guess with the movies and stuff but Wolverine volume 366 um, August 2008 Old Man Logan storyline begins sketch cover variant um, Turner cover Michael Turner cover love this cover this seems to be a very very hard comic to come by to find in a while so uh, good luck to those who are who are looking for it but this was graded this year as well actually no this was graded probably two years ago but you know original owner it's the old cgc so this was graded a while back big walking dead fan um it's probably one of three i guess walking dead you know comics i have but walking dead number one image comics uh 2003 first appearance of rick grimes and morgan and and Dwayne Jones, so classic, you know, comic, classic, you know, TV show if you're into that stuff. So, I'm not sure if this will go away, but I, I like the, I like the series, I like the comics. Um, you know, this is pretty, you know, good comic in anybody's collection. New Mutants, eighty-seven. Uh, first appearance of Cable. Love this comic. Um, you know, CGC 9.8, can't go wrong with that. Love this comic, love, love the condition, love, love the storyline. And look forward to seeing him in the, um, in the new Deadpool movie. Should be, should be exciting. And speaking of Deadpool, um, New Mutants 98, February 1999, first appearance of Deadpool. Um, classic, classic issue, classic comic. Glad to have this in my collection, CGC 9.8. Oops. I this one here um got this a while back. Um Spawn 185 sketch cover variant. Um you know, cover and art by was it Wilsey Part Partasio. So yeah, this was a hard comic to find. I mean this was um can't I can't remember if I bought it online or was it a subscription or what have you, but I had this graded a couple years back and you know after I had it, this came out 2008 so I had it raw for a couple years and decided to get it graded and came back at 9.8 so very happy to have this. And probably harder to find is uh, this right here, Spawn number one, black and white, uh, I guess variant or black and white edition, McFarlane cover and art. So this I hardly see at all online or any sales. So um, classic comic, classic cover. I love, I love the black and 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 the shadows and 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 the armor and you know muscle tone and stuff. This is classic, classic Spawn cover here. So. You know, I love this comic. Oops. Tomb of Dracula, number 10. First appearance of Blade. Love that comic, 9.4. Um, love that, love that comic, love that storyline. So I had to add this to my collection. Conan the Barbarian, number one. 9.2 origin first appearance of Conan um, Yeah, had this raw for some years um, not the original owner, you know, this came out in 1970 so um, Bought this online, you know near mint condition came back, you know 9.2 so i um, proud to have this in my collection All right, here goes some Silver Age stuff here. Tales of Suspense 39. Origin of first appearance of the Iron Man, Tony Stark. Glad to have this in my collection. Um, personal collection, had this for a couple years now. 
well, actually more than a couple of years. I mean, wow, long time. Um, so yeah, I left. I left New York City. I left there 2011-ish, and yeah, I had this before then. So yeah, I had this for some years, but 7.0 CGC. Oops. Iron Man number t um, number one, excuse me. Uh, stories continues from the Iron Man and Submariner number one origin of Iron Man retold. Now this is a funny story. This was actually a 8.5 at first, and maybe two or three years ago when that pressing thing, you know, I first started hearing about it and you know got interested. I went to a Comic Con and and spoke to somebody at the CGC stand, and you know they looked at this and said, "Yeah, this would be a good candidate for pressing." And look, you know, two or three months later, came back a 9.2. So very happy to go through that process with this comic, Iron Man number one. So I got an honorable mention here, um, just real quick. Um, this was a hard comic to find. I don't think there's that not that many out there, but um, this is uh, Adam Legend of Blue Marvel number one. Um, you know, it's a modern age, 2009. I bought it. I bought it as a slab, so I'm proud to have this comic in my collection. So honorable mention to to him. And now we're going into my top ten. Um, yeah, so we're going into top ten here. So number ten is uh, Incredible Hulk 181. First full appearance of Wolverine, 8.5 CGC. Um, had this raw, got it graded. You know, hard book to come by. So. Happy to have this. Uh, Werewolf by Night 32, number 9, number 9. Origin of first full appearance of Moon Knight, 9.2. Love this comic. Uh, first appearance of Moon Knight. Big hype around this character. Had this for, wow, over 10 years, over, at least over 5 years, wow. Avengers number 1, it's number 8. Um, origin, first full appearance of Avengers 8.0. Had this for a long time. Um, not raw, but I think I bought it as is. Slab, so classic, classic Avengers story. Love the cover. Alright, number... What's this? Seven? Harbinger? Harbinger number one. Thought I'd add this to my collection. Um, first appearance of Harbinger, all the characters behind it. So 9.8 CGC, new slab, new case. So definitely in my one of my top ten comics. Alright, number six, I guess. Number six, Daredevil number one. Origin first appearance of Daredevil 8.5 CGC. Love this comic. Had this for some time now. Um, bought it slab. I didn't. I didn't have this raw. Bought it slab. So glad to add this to my collection. Number four. Number four. Big X Men fan. X Men number one. 1963. Origin first full appearance of X Men 7.5. Love this cover. Love this comic. Classic, classic issue. Long-term hold on that. Number four, Star Wars. Star Wars 9.8 CGC. Got to be a Star Wars fan. Love this comic. Now there's so many different Star Wars storylines, comics and stuff. But you got to gotta have the original on your PC, I think. This is classic comic, classic story. Number three. Number three, Amazing Spider-Man. Yes, Amazing Spider-Man number one. 7.0, 1963. Wow, first full, first appearance of uh, some of the characters from Amazing Spider-Man's um, storyline. Fantastic Four crossover. Love this comic. Had this for a long time. Number two, Bone. 
a lot of hype around this comic book. Hard comic book to find. I don't think that many exist out there. Bone number one, 1991. First appearance of what? Phone bone, phony bone, smiley bone. <laughs> White Pages, 9.8. Love this comic. Just the cover. Just think I heard, you know, I read about this comic and heard some stuff on some videos how, how rare this comic book is. So I was lucky enough to find it. And number one, number one, last but not least, Amazing Fantasy number 15, Origin of First Appearance of Spider-Man. Wow. Now this comic book brings back memories. Like I... I bought this at least almost 10 years ago, 8 years ago, and I thought, you know, I was paying too much for it, and you know, now it's 3, 4, 5 times worth of what, you know, more than what I paid for it, but, you know, classic, classic comic, classic cover, a lot of, a lot of history behind this comic book, I mean, it's up there with the Hulk ones and Fantastic Four ones, if not better, so, anyway, um, just real quick, want to run that by um, by you guys, my top 25, hopefully 2017, I'll, you know, have another updated list for you guys, and, and, um, hope you're enjoying your New Year's Eve festivities with family and friends, and, as always, collect what you want to collect, but please, take care of those comics, take care guys, Happy New Year's, talk to you later.